Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, today's workout is a top nine workout. So I'm gonna use the Luca format, lower body, upper body, cardio, and abs. And I'm gonna do my top nine favorite exercises in each category. So you may have seen a couple of my other top nine workouts so far. We did a top nine upper, top nine lower, top nine abs. And now I'm gonna add that cardio and make it a full Luca. So the format will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between, and I'm gonna take nine exercises and do them right in a row, no repeats. All right, so we'll start with lower, then upper, then cardio, then abs. Should be a real good time. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, that's all you'll need, and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Yeah, me too, let's do it. I think I'll put high intensity intervals on the watch. I mean, it's mostly strength, but we do have that nine minutes of cardio hit in there as well. I will show you low impact variations for those exercises if you need, All right? But it should be a fun little format, nine exercises. So yeah, you're basically in each region for nine minutes. That's a good amount of time to put some good overload on those muscles or on our heart or Abs especially will be a challenge. Uh, like I said, if you hadn't tried those top nine exercises, take it wide, touch your toes. Be sure to, you can just YouTube Tracy Steen top nine, Tracy Steen top nine, and then you'll, you'll see those pop up. Uh, they're fun, yeah. Just my favorite exercises. <laughs> Two more here. Good, and side to side, let's reach the hips back. I'm gonna get down a little lower, stay up high if you need. Need to stretch that hammy. We're back to shoveling snow here again. <laughs> so annoying, I thought spring was coming. Alas, no, full winter weather again. To get the boots back out, mitts, toques. All right, some arm circles here, big stretch. Switch directions. Good, take it wide, open here in the chest. Last one here. Hold on to something if you need. We're just gonna do some dynamic kicks. Foot is flexed, don't let it hit the ground. 15 aside, there's five, 10 more here. And switch your leg. There's five, 10 more. Last five here. Very good. And how about some calf raises here? Swing those arms. Good, five more and a reach. Four, three, two, very good. All right, oh, I didn't do this. <laughs> I have to do this. Sorry, it's tradition. Four, and it feels so good. My favorite stretch, warm up exercise ever right here. Last four, three, two, there we go. Now we're ready, there's the first uh, set, we're gonna start with lower body, and here we go. I will hold my 15s for that squat reverse deadlift. All right, feet shoulder width apart, you'll hit the squat first, then into that hip hinge, 
and stand, shoulders back. And we drop here, hinge and stand. That's it. Love this one. I used to call this the Monica after Monica Brandt. She's a figure competitor from years ago. But then I was too tired of explaining it. So <laughs> I changed it. Anyway, I saw her doing it for the first time, probably 15 years ago. And I didn't know what to call it so that I would remember. So I called it the Monica. My mic is falling off. Keep going. Here. Very good. Into that reverse lunge kick. Uh, I'll stick with the 15s. If you don't want to kick, you can tap. All right. We'll stay on the same side. I'll call half. Take it low and reverse with a kick. Good. Switch your leg. <sighs> Going from that Deadlift now right into an alternating front lunge. All right, you'll alternate sides. These are soft, I'll stick with these 15s. Deadlift here, front lunge, back to deadlift, other side lunge. I'll stick with these 15s again for my squat pulse sequence. All right, we're going from one to six and then back down. Squat pulse sequence, pulse for one, you're down. All right, now two, one, two, now three, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Back down now, five. Four. Three. Two. All right, didn't make it all the way. Moving into our deadlifts, but toes in and toes out. So I'm holding 20s. I'll call halfway and we'll switch. So toes are in very slightly. All right, really ever so slightly. And if you're not comfortable with that, just keep them straight. This target's a little bit on the exterior of that hamstring here. One more here. All right, toes are out very slightly. Hinge, back is flat. Now we're moving to a little bit more on the interior of the hamstring. Very good, into that front squat, I'll rack it up in the front with these 20s. All right, ass to grass, get as low as you can. 
Feet are shoulder width, nice and tall. And we drop and drive. Core is engaged. Setting one of those down. Side lunge twist. All right, I'll go half on this. You're gonna drop low, pick it up and twist, go lighter if you need. Reach it here, up, twist. Hips go back, that's it. Last one here. All right, take a step, switch hands and legs, reach. Into your curtsy lunge. I'll go to 15s, alternating sides, nice and tall, curtsy here, switch. I'll go back to my 20s for the kickstand deadlift. I'll call half, we'll switch. Toes planted, you're hinging at the waist, reach your hips back. We're slow, two, three, and power up. Back is super flat. Take a step and switch legs. Okay, last exercise. I'll hold a 25 for my sumo Squat, oh that's a 30. Foot sweep, sumo sweep, wide stance, drop it low, sweep it here. Nice and low into that sumo squat. And I'm getting as low as I can, my elbows tapping my knees. Switch your sweep. All right, very nice. Upper body is next. Take a look at the screen. See what's coming up next.
Let's start off with an iron cross. I'm gonna add a squat to this. You could eliminate that if you'd like, but I just like the fluidity of having that squat as well. I'm holding eights, shoulders back. We'll drop that squat here, and then ceiling, side, center, and down. Last one here. Moving down into your up, down plank, push up combo. You could do one or the other, or flip it over to chest press if this hurts your wrists. Mod from the knees, we're alternating. Push up first, and we're down. Up, down plank, back to push up. Up, down plank. Standing for that rainbow bicep curl, I'll hold 12s. All right, out to the side, and then curl to the front. Knees are soft, so you're here. Elbows in, bicep curl here. Now with the weight in the front, you're gonna tend to round in that upper shoulder or lean forward. Try to stay super tall, keep your back still, just work the biceps here. Nice, I'm gonna go into that bent over row, hammer curl combo, holding 15s. Now palms will face the legs the entire time. Hinge at the waist, super flat back. And we row, stand and hammer curl. Boom, use those biceps, not momentum. Elbows in. Leaving 15s there, I'm gonna grab my 12s for that tricep press overhead extension. But I'll use those 15s for the next one. All right, palms facing, hips are up if you'd like. And we tricep press to the ceiling, back at the elbow, ceiling, down to the ground, up, back, up, and down, that's it.
All right, I'm gonna grab those 15s for my pulse chest press. Pulse, chest press, little pulse, full range press over the chest. Hips are up again if you'd like. And here we go, little two inch press, full range over the chest, pulse and press. Look at your wrists, are they locked in neutral? Make sure that they're not bent back. Squeeze your pecs at the top. Very nice, stay down here for your V-sit press. I'll just hold it 12, I'll, we'll, I'll call half and we'll switch sides. Super tall, okay, feet on the ground or elevate for more of a challenge. And you're here, we press, balance yourself. Let's go, up, good. Last one here, switch your side and push up. Let's go. We'll stand after this. Pinwheel curl coming up and I'll hold those 15s. Nice, ooh yeah. All right, two more exercises. Pinwheel curls, watch your weights. Shoulders back, knees are soft. Curl in front and flex. Good. Don't turn your body. It stays facing me, you're just pulling that arm across. Palm faces the ceiling. Flex, squeeze, let's go. Last exercise, I'm gonna grab those eights for a lateral front combo. All right, out to the side, then to the front, shoulders back. You're here. Pop and front raise. Here, stick your chest out. You really have to engage and contract those abs in the front raise. You don't want to push your hips forward or round in the shoulders, so your core has to be Completely engaged for your front shoulders to do the work. <sighs> Almost there. Last 15 seconds, then a rest, then we're moving into cardio. Last one here. <sighs> Good. All right, grab some water. That was fun. Legs and shoulders, arms feel blasted. Uh, we'll take a little sip, pause if you need a longer break, but there's the cardio set, and we're going right into it here. All of my favorite cardios. Okay, we're gonna start with the side shuffle, frog squat. There's your low impact. You can just do nice and low side lateral walk. Otherwise, drop and touch the ground. Let's work, and you're here. Drop the glute.
Jack, skip, you're here. Here, here, here. You don't need the break, you're here. Okay, I need the break for a second. <laughs> here we go. Jack, skip, jack, skip. Broad jump, three jacks back. Or giant step, tap, tap, tap back. Land light like you're on eggshells. Great to work this eccentric phase here. So we jump, jack, three, two, one, and jump. Okay, doing well, quick sip. Three hop, one, two, three, frog squat. Three hop frog squat, that's low impact. One, two, three, and drop. Snowboarder three hop. So you'll modify with a low squat pivot. Okay, otherwise we're gonna hop three times to that side. Hard, but fun. If you're a snowboarder, jump in here first. And then three hops. One, two, three. You could do this in one place if you don't wish to travel. Kill the quads. Single, double, butt kick. Single, single, double. Okay, this one's fun. Shoes are tight. Hop it out. Single, single, double. Single, and double.
I'm gonna hold my handles here for the burpee. If you don't want a burpee, feel free to do a jack or walk out with the burpee to mod. Okay, super flat back. Jump at the top. more, two jabs, two jacks, boom, boom, jack, jack, there's your low, ha, ready, let's work, jab, jab, jack, jack. Last cardio, four knees, two frogs. There's low impact. Kick it up if you can. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Drop it low and low. Very nice, all right, Whew. walk it out and catch your breath. Pause if you need a longer rest. There's our ab sequence, nine different ones. Okay, let's finish off strong with this next circuit. I'm just gonna bring these little fives down here for some. All right, got a good little sweat going on. Can we start with a V-sit? I know, you could do small package for a low impact. I do love a V-sit, here we go, reach it up. Good. All right, we're gonna thread the needle left for 45 seconds, then we'll thread the needle right for 45. I'm holding a five, mod here. You could even just hold the plank here if you don't wanna thread the needle. Otherwise, tuck it here and reach, that's it. Nice oblique act activation here. Lower abdominal wall is also activated. Feeling that. Stay with me on this side. If you're needing to modify, you just drop a foot here. Okay? It's no problem. 
almost there, 10 more seconds. We can do hard things. Anyone can do anything for 10. Let's go, push and relax. Hiya! All right, flip it, kick it, reverse it. <laughs> you gotta make it fun and have fun while you're doing it. Then you come back to have more fun. All right, here we go and thread the needle here. Very nice, moving into your starfish pass. I'll hold the five pound dumbbell. Now to mod, you can just tap alternating sides here. Okay, I'm gonna hold this and pass it under. So we tap, same side pass. Now switch hands, tap, same side pass. Very nice. Whew, that was getting hard. Flip it into your plank hip drop. If you need to mod this, just hold from the knees. Don't drop though, it's too twisty on the back from the knees. Otherwise, you pop it here, side to side. Relax those hands. Flip it on your back for your windshield wiper. Okay, flat on your back. Legs are either straight or bent at 90, arms to the side, keep your shoulder blades down, and side to side with the legs. So slow, two, three, up, two, three, other side, two, three, up. So yeah, more challenging with a straight leg. My wall's in the way, so I gotta bend there. Okay, good, stay on your back here for a turtle crunch. Head and shoulders come off the ground and we're alternating taps, palms face the ceiling here. Whew. Ready, lift it up, tap it here, here. If you need to support your head, one hand is just gently behind your head here. You're still hitting that oblique crunch though.
All right, hug those knees for a second. You're going into the shovel. You can either take it from your back here and single leg scoop, single leg scoop, or come up to the elbows right here, scoop up the sand, and we scoop, bring it back. Nice and low to the ground if you can. Or this can be modified with one leg, alternating sides. Okay, traveling scissor. We've got two more exercises here. Traveling scissor, hands under the bottom. You're gonna start scissoring at the top, come to the bottom, and then back up. All right, crisscross, and you're one, two, three, back to the top, two, one. You could stay at the bottom the entire time if you wanna challenge more. Okay, feel free. Work at the bottom, I tell you. Mm, hug those knees. Last exercise, we're gonna go into a butterfly sit up. You could just crunch here. Okay, gentle hands behind the head. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell, feet are together, knees are open. Full sit up here. Up and push, good. All right, last exercise. Let's work hard. This, is, this was a great workout. I liked it a lot. A little bit of everything. Halfway. Stay with me. You're getting there. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your top nine, lower body, upper body, cardio abs, so fun. Thanks for joining. I think I did 10 on the first one though, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to count. Join for a stretch if you can. All right, everyone, let's start on all fours right here. Okay, we're gonna take that left hand, I want you to tuck it under nice and low, stretch through that upper middle back here, very good. Oh, that was, I, I totally enjoyed that. I liked doing the chunk of focus and then switching, not knowing what I was getting because of the no repeat. Big stretch up here. Uh, but the fact that we stayed in the same muscle groups or regions, switch sides, tuck it under for nine minutes, well, 10 in the legs, but nine minutes uh, was great because then you got some good volume and shakiness on those specific muscles. Reach up. Oh yeah, that's good. You're probably tighter on one side than the other with this stretch. Let's come back to this side and just open it. Take a look at where your elbow hits the ceiling. Which side are you tighter on? Try this side again. Oh, maybe this side. Yeah, right there, I can feel it. All right, go down into child's pose. Reach your hands forward, push your chest to the ground, and drop your head to the mat. That's it. Stretch it out. Reach, reach, reach those hips back. Sit right back on your haunches if you can. Push your chest to the ground. Now I want you to lift one arm up here. Okay, just lift it up and just push that side to the ground a little bit more. Good stretch in that lat, but also in your rear delt area, tricep, of course, feeling that. All right, switch sides. 
Other hand comes up and reaches back. And your focus is on that side, pushing your armpit to the ground. Okay, good. Draw those arms in. Okay. Let's just slide the hands forward and gently push the hips forward. If you don't like this position, just stay in that cat and cow. This cobra here, lift the chin up. Oh, feels good. <laughs> Stretch that lower back. Okay, gently push back into child's pose again. And let's rock forward one more time. Good. This reminds me of some of the DNS flow that I have in our Limber Life program. Reach back one more time, right? It's, uh, it's getting back to some of the movements maybe that you were able to do when you were a child. So like this 90-90 position. Let's stretch here into the glute. And how easy it is to lose that mobility because we stop doing those natural patterns of movement that we did as children and then we learn to compensate. Okay, stretch up to the lead leg here, a little twisty turn, drop those shoulders away from your ears. Yeah, and so then our movement starts to be hindered by other muscles. Let's do a 90-90 rock right here. So it's really important to practice these things because if you don't practice, then you don't have the capacity, okay? And hinge forward here. It's like my story with the uh, Ariel. Uh, you probably know this story, do you? <laughs> that when I was 45, like just a mere eight years ago, I told my husband and ch son that I could definitely still do an Ariel off of a deck, like a cartwheel with no hands, because I grew up as a gymnast, so I'm like, I couldn't, totally. I went on the trampoline and warmed up and I did a bunch, I think I did like 20 Ariels on the trampoline. I'm like, yeah, I'm warm, ready to go. Well, and then I, went to go do it and put my hand down because I, my rotation wasn't fully there and I was nervous a little bit and anyway, snapped my wrist or my, uh, yeah, both, both bones there, snapped in half. You could hear it. It was like a twig breaking, like crack. It was so gross. Um, but in my brain, I could still do it, but I hadn't done an actual aerial in about 15 years. So <laughs> I don't know what made me think I could still do it because clearly I could not. But that is uh, a testament to if you don't use it, you lose it. And when you see like grandmas, you know, like we've all seen that on the internet, grandmas doing like gymnastics still, that's because they never stopped doing it. Had they stopped, they would have lost that capacity and ability like myself. But I think this is why too, this is why I can do so many jumps and hops and uh, different things like that for my cardio is because I have not stopped doing that. That has been something that I have continued to do for the past 25 years uh, in fitness. So I don't want to lose that capacity myself. And I know some of us have, and we've had injuries that have then now inhibited that action, but working at that mobility, I think is really crucial. So again, uh, we do have that limber life program that helps you do some of those flows and just practice those things. Like if you're just gonna camp out in front of the TV in the evening anyway, throw that on your phone, do some stretches, some dynamic stretches or mobility exercises to help you stay limber as you age. That is the name of the game, folks. All right, thanks for joining. Round through the back there, as always, going daily in your wellness and nutrition now, and I'll see you in the next workout.